We're here to talk through this Sunday Stumper, which is an era of different neighbor puzzles by Jeffrey Barden. And the 36 T's theme is really triggered by the top here. 35 is going to join to 37. And 37 over here is going to join to 35. So we have two 36 large groups. And in a different neighbor's puzzle, they have to stay separate. So the star of this grid is going to have these groups moving down around each other. This five, six, seven, five T has a four, six coming up here. And which T has more tension? Well, like this 36 is gonna come generally over here. Um, this top one looks particularly bad. So look at this. Let's say this 36 came all the way through over to this region. We'd have two threes, two fours, four different groups with two more clues in there. So this 36 has to come instead through this channel so that one of these three fours can come and connect down to some of these clues in the 6114. So what that means is if this is closed off, the six can't join to a clue to the left and it can't join to this five, so it has to come to the right. And now the 36 is gonna have to move to the right over on this side. And we have these coming in. This comes down, the five comes down. Uh, this 36 is going to have to now actually escape over this whole part of the grid. So that's a big tension. The 6 can join to the 3 or can join not, but it will always have to come down. So we get this start. In this corner, we're going to have a 3 join of a 5 to make a 4 large group. And we can have... Uh, this 38 is going to be part of a 6 large group, and this 36 can't join to this 5. It has to join to this 3. So we can have 4 and 6 and 4 if this comes in, or we could have 5 in the space. So I think some of this is going to be once we know where the 6 connects into. Let's the work on this grid. So this 5 comes down. This 36 continues coming down. Now, if we have mark this in right, the seven comes up and we need to ask ourselves, does the 36 come across or does it come down through this channel? If the 36 comes through this channel, where does the seven connect? It can't join to the six or eight. And in this sort of swap, there are no circles left to it. So this 36 actually has to come through this channel now like this and come over and that means it's got to dodge this clue but it's going to have to come down through the center here so we're going to use this kind of notation which just gives a sense that like we can't come across these edges but this 36 uh, is going to now force this other one to come to the left here and then come back and down through this again through this kind of path we're not going to be able to get as many as 36 cells until we get to the bottom of the grid so let's pause before we move too far into just this, you know, these extrapolations. This six still needs to join to something, and where it already is taking eight cells, it must be to this 12. This six, if it joined to the nine, leaves nothing for the three, so it has to join here. Grow to four cells, but now that actually forces the 36 fully around its shape. This nine starts coming over, and that means the 36 is forced to be flushed down here. This eight will always come and take another cell. Uh, seven isn't gonna join. Let's see, could it join to the two? It looks like it might have some flexibility there, but the eight's gonna have to join into some bits uh, as well. This nine is gonna to come to the five. That means this five and seven join together and are gonna to be size six. This link back suggests this five and seven join and are gonna be size six. And here we've got two sixes, but we're in a different neighbor's puzzle. So these, I could join to here and here. I can't go any closer because it's already size six. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. If this stretches all the way over, and gets around this clue, 
that works. So we'll mark this in. It also does this tight turning. But then that puts in this edge. And up top, we can take one, two, three, four, five. It looks like we always had to take this six clue. One, two, three, four, five. Always have to take this. And this five, nine could be six, but it's touching a six. So it's going to want to take as many cells as it can and grow to seven, which is its maximum size. And we got to take off this edge. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got this nine clue moving up, one with 14. We've got this coming over, this coming over. These could join straight away, but we need to get something connecting here. What's the count of this gonna look like? Nine with six would still leave too many behind, so this nine has to come over. and can join to any of these. Um, this came down to be a five. We'd have three with six. That looks okay. Uh, but then if this join would come up to be six large. I guess one thing we know is this always comes down. Uh, here it is. If this comes over here, this puts in a five, that puts in a five, this becomes six. So this is bad. So this comes in four, five. That always has to be at least six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If this takes another one, it would be seven with seven. So it has to be six with eight like this. That looks okay. Here we take this over, take this over. We're now in the space where we had four, and again, it's going to be four and six, but four can't touch four. So this set of regions looks good. Let's just start to put some counts in the grid. We've got 10, 15. We've got 20 cells out to these groups. Um, we've got five, 10, 15, option of one, 20, 25, got some options here. So how do we want to work through some of this? Well, let's recognize this is 25, and this is the other group of size 36. We might as well just shade these. I mean, the whole puzzle is going to be about these two huge groups, so it's good to always keep sight of them. And if this were in Penpaeta, we'd be using two different colors right now. So these groups have to be dodging. And that means that this is going to come over to the right, which means we actually have these closed off, this coming down and these then sort of maturing on their own as the fourth step right now. These don't connect, so this has to come down. This gets here, and this is our 30 square. This seven group, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, going to be too large for this, too large for that. It's going to come through the 12. This six joins with eight, it's gonna get up to be size seven. I'm gonna come over here, but strand that. So instead it has to come to this 10. That means this six, eight is size seven exactly, which means this has to be eight or nine. Come down to take the cell. It means this comes over. Um, looks like Knowing there's a gap uh, here, 
and this still has a lot of room to grow. It's going to grow some, somehow like this. Let's look at how these connect. So 6 will join with one of these to be an 8. Um, if And what actually looks to be happening, like these are going to form like a stepladder. So like imagine this came like this, and this came like this, and this came over. Actually, this the 6 at the top would come over. I have something of size 7, something of size 6, something of size 5. So there are four, eight clues here. Like if the, if the 36 wrapped around like this, this would be an OK contained space. So let's say, is it possible that the 36 doesn't wrap? If it doesn't wrap, then we have to have something coming through here. So at most, we could take these cells. So 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6. We have to be able to get all the way over here without taking more. This has one, two points of freedom, potentially at the 32 and 33. Notice, though, that we have to get uh, this 9 and 11 are too big to actually come together on their own with this space. So these both have to come over at least like this. So we can't cross this boundary. So if this is 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So we will always take at least one over here. And as we said with this count, if we take one over here, then we have to like have like an efficient way of doing this. Let's imagine I just mark off this cell. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. We always have to come through here, 33, 34, 35, 36. We will reach the bottom of this with the 36 regardless of what we do. So we will be thinking of a path like this, which means now we have to get these to work. So this 3 can't map to the 4, can't map to the 6, so it does have to map over here. This comes up, this comes up, this kind of ladder will work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Nothing can reach to this corner except the big 36. With this ladder, we do have to put in these. Um, I think, again, we said we could take at least one of these, uh, maybe both of them. We've got a cut back here. But if we take these, if we take at least one of them, this 2 has to map to this, and this 6 has to map to that. Sorry, this 3 to the 7. Um, this needs to get to 4, and if I come up here, these now are also going to 4. That's not going to work, so this has to come down and come down again. This now dodges, so we force this into the grid. This is the 6, so this closes off. This is 5. This is 7. This is a 4. So we get this all done. That gets us to 25. This is 30. This is 34, 35, 36. So now we do have to dodge, but we have to take a max as we had made before. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is 36. This edge is good. We got 2, 36 is that thing. 3 with 9 that looks fine. 5 with 11, we've got a little bit to work out here. So first, this 6, 8 is absolutely 7. So now that it can't take this cell, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This can grow, but this is already at 7, so it needs to be larger, 8, 9. And I think if I've marked all the edges, there we are. We've finished this grid. Pretty creative, different neighbors puzzle. Definitely the tension of the 36 is working throughout the different flows, the kind of T-shapes that, that force the, the 36 around, in this case to the right, in this case up above. And then a big count sort of at the end. Particularly, we could see this intact group of eight clues working together. A little different flow on the bottom here that put up some tension between these cells. but ultimately logical steps all the way through the end. So thanks, Jeffrey, for the puzzle. Thanks to you all for watching this video, and we'll see you again soon.